episode of Justin vs. Justin Goes to the Movies. Uh, behind me, uh, we got the movie that we're going to go see, the, one of the uh, most anticipated movies of the season so far. Of the early part of the year. Yes. So yep. uh, we're going to go check out Captain Marvel. We're going to see if Brie Larson uh, holds up, and we're going to see if there, all the people that are saying all the sorts of things about this movie are, are true. Yeah, let's go check it out. Yeah, so stay tuned, and we'll be right back. You were reborn. I keep having these memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. You've come a long way, but you're not as strong as you think. This war is just the beginning. I'm not going to fight your war. I'm going to end it. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Aren't you cute? And what's your name, huh? Gary. What's you? I'll be back. Uh, so we just got out of Captain Marvel. It's about 1 a.m. Yeah. So uh, we're a little tired, but uh, eh, we're split. We're finally split on a movie for the first time this year. Yep. It's, uh, yeah. It, it didn't take too long, but um, yeah. I liked it. I personally didn't care for it. Yeah. I thought the fight scenes were way too dark. And even Brie Larson, she fell a little flat in some points to where, like, she's very charismatic in the beginning, and then towards the end of the movie, just kind of, like, got cam over her. They do a lot with, like, kind of snarky humor. It's very 90s. I think that they do that. I think she did an adequate job. I mean, you know, she didn't blow anything away. Samuel L. Jackson, however, was amazing uh, in still was every amazing. scene in this movie. And I will give it to the CGI people who made him look younger. They did uh, fantastic. They did amazing. Him, him and Clark Gregg and all that. And I, yeah. I think that there is enough with, like, Jude Law and all the other characters. Um, and, I mean, we're not giving away any spoilers because everything you've seen in the uh, in the trailers. Yeah. There's enough in the other parts of the movie that uh, you're going to like it. Let's just say the first thing out of my mouth was Deadpool, and I just said, so dark, you belong in a DC universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you did see Aquaman like four times. I only saw it once, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you were the one that um, saw Aquaman one day. <laughs> really, really cool kind of 90s soundtrack to this. That was uh, not, not too much of a surprise, but like kind of cool. Um, what did you think of the effects? I, I know you said they were kind of dark. The effects are all right, but like I said, I, I don't care for movies where the fight scene's so dark, I don't know who's fighting. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. There's one scene towards the end in particular where I couldn't tell what the hell was going on. I see a lot of neon flashes. Yeah, it's like, like it's kind of muddled. And all it was like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I don't, think it's, I don't think it's a perfect film by any means. I think it's, uh, I've always said from the beginning, I think it's going to be filler to go through. It exceeded my expectations. I think it's a little bit better than what I was expecting. I think it fell short of my expectations. Mm -hmm. So It wasn't cohesive to the other Marvel movies. I think that's the issue. Yeah, but neither was Ant Man, and I, yeah. I didn't really care for the, si the second Ant, Ant Man. So, how dare you hate on Paul Rudd? He's a national treasure. <laughs> I like the first one. So, so uh, what would you give the movie? Um, I'm gonna give it a B. So I, B. I liked it, possibly B plus. So I'm gonna see it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna give it a C, and okay. I probably will not be seeing it. Again. Okay. <laughs> well, very, very fair. This is called Justin versus Justin. So. All right. Well, guys, stay tuned for the next Justin versus Justin goes to the movies. Alright, thanks guys. Tune in, subscribe. <laughs> Captain! <laughs>